It's been amazing to spend so much time in Seattle. Unfortunately, we have to hit the road and say goodbye. Aww. Hey, Delaney. <laughs> I know, I'm sad I'm too. I'm leaving She needs her blanket. Yeah, blanket. Oh. Can I get squeezes? <laughs> Our next adventure awaits on a little Green Lives farm. That means we have a hot date with some goats, chickens, tons of kids. This is funny. Back to a fact, there is nothing to be funny about in this video. Look, and he, look how and funny looking this kid is. He has socks. <laughs> He got very <laughs> dirty socks. Very, very dirty. Hey, let's see your socks. <laughs> let's see, look, look at how dirty that sock is. And so much work to keep us busy. In this week's vlog, we'll show you how we got here and our first few days at the farm. All right, guys, we're ready to hit the road. We spent the last week plus packing up, doing all the chores around the house, and now it's time to go. It feels kind of sad. It's like bittersweet. We're saying goodbye to family, and it's been really nice staying here, but we've got a new adventure coming up, so we gotta go. Totally gonna miss my family, especially little sweet Delaney. Mm -hmm. She's such a cutie. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. She's so freaking cute. We're gonna head to this farm. They have four kids, so we're gonna be around a bunch of kids again, which is gonna be pretty cool. And we're gonna be right by Mount Hood. There should be some spectacular views over there. Let's hit the road! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Close your door! What? We saw a bald eagle! Like, we're really up close! That's crazy! I'm pretty sure that's the perfect way to start a new journey. Yeah! We're back on the road, which means we need gas. When getting gas, you gotta use your handy dandy glove. But now that it's all done, you gotta throw it out. Into the garbage can. All right, let's go. That's the first time that we've filled up since the middle of March, which is really, really good for our pocketbooks. Oh, and it was only $40. And we used the Gas Buddy app and got an extra five cents off a liter. The first day we got to the farm, we didn't want to film too much. We just wanted to say hi to the family and get acquainted. And then the next morning, we got up and started learning our chores, which was so much work that by our afternoon break, we were ready for a nap. Or at least I was. We're about to wake up Alex right now. She's sleeping in the back. Really, it's just nap time, and she has a minute and 50 seconds left. Oh, I didn't have to wake you up. Good morning. I heard you talking. How you doing? I'm so sleepy. Why is that? We worked so hard this morning. Oh, I know. We. What do we do? No, we'll show you. Okay. I guess that means we're just gonna have to go out there and show you guys. Alex, you gonna take us around the farm? Yeah, let me just have some water. Oh, I think that was my problem this morning. I didn't drink enough. Neither did I, actually. Can I have some too, please? Yeah. Welcome to Little Green Lives. This is the farm that we are gonna be staying at for the foreseeable future, so we're gonna take you for a tour. First off, our car is parked right by the driveway in this beautiful spot. We got a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade. We got the chicken. 
right across from where we're sleeping are the chickens and the goats. The goats have gone for a walk, so we're gonna go find them. You gotta close the doors behind you. Guys, I'm so sorry for my cool, cool shades. I know you guys all love them out there. This right here is a little contraption that they built where the goats could go up here and chill out right up here, and they love it. Look I was at all these baby chickens! I was actually watching all four of them hang out up there, but look at these baby chicks. Oh, he jumped right on top of the other one. <laughs> they sound so cute. Oh my god. That's amazing, eh? Let's go find these goats. Hi, guys. Hi, man. This is the mama goat, uh -huh. and those are her three babies. She was a dairy goat, so she had lots and lots of babies, but she didn't get to keep any of them. So they got the goats from a rescue, so this is the first litter of goats that this dairy goat actually got to live with and keep. And I now have a goat on my side. What's up, Baba? How you doing? Yeah, you're such a sweetie, aren't you? All right, so we'll leave the goats be for now, and we're gonna head over to the vegetable Let's garden. go wander. Looks like we have a little helper here. Showing us to the garden. Oh yeah, where? And what type of bird is that, do you know? A robin. Oh yeah, you can see the mama robin right there. Woo, he scared. He scared me. <laughs> Okay, so our first job on the farm was to put this plastic piping up a little bit to give some airflow into this greenhouse. It was ticking in at like 110 degrees, which is way too hot for the tomatoes. This farm might be called little, but there's always something to do. Whether it's weeding, protecting the plants, planting new plants, or just taking care of the animals, there is endless work to be done here. Frankie and I were happy to jump in and get started. He's working on a little construction project and I'm helping with the vegetable patch. But another day of hard work at the farm means another afternoon nap. Look who's sleepy nappy today. I wasn't the sleepy nappy one. I'm here because of you, Miss Alexander. You're a liar because there's no film evidence of what you're talking about. That's how we know that she's lying. 212, not in the hatch. Let's go for a little walk. Okay. Neat. Hi, little buddy. He's in it, so it keeps moving. Yeah. Are you still in your pajamas? Yeah. Yes. What's up with that? All right, let's get our seats together. Silly. All right, so when we arrived on the farm, we were immediately mobbed by four little kids and a bunch of goats and chickens. Hello. Like that. Yep, just like that. Hello. And I don't think we've had a free moment ever since. Nope. So we put the cameras down and we enjoyed a lovely dinner with the family. We stayed up way too late wrestling with these monsters. And then we headed to bed in the van. Mm -hmm. The next day we sat down with the family and we figured out what it was that we were going to be doing here on the farm with them. We had a nice talk about everything that had to happen and they were super open and honest with us about us being honest with them about what we expect and what we're good at and all the things that we think that we could accomplish while we're here with them. Obviously there's things that need to be done right now that are super important and then there's other projects that are kind of wish list projects. So of those we can kind of pick and choose which we're most interested in. A couple things like making chip chicken coops and um, other building projects that I might be interested in. And designing the food forest would be really cool mm -hmm. and we've got some bees being delivered next week so we yeah. have to set up the hives which is really cool to me. So basically our schedule here, we wake up around 7.30, head in for 8 o'clock for breakfast. We have breakfast with the family, which is usually oats or waffles or eggs. Mm -hmm. And then we get to work for the morning. And then we have a couple of hours off in the afternoon when the kids are supposed to be in homeschooling mm -hmm. and not running around like crazy madmen. Yeah. And then pick up for the afternoon and then help kind of put everything away for the evening before dinner and then have some quiet time to ourselves mm -hmm. and then do it all again the next day. Yeah, 
and it's really cool. So if you guys are interested in uh, this type of opportunity, you can go to woofers.com, right? And check out the opportunities in your area um, and see what they might have. Well, the kids have funny little British accents. Yeah. You had 90%? Do you hear him? Rubbish! Away with you! Alright, you can uh, stop this. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. You might have noticed that the goats love to slam into things, including their fence. So we are replacing the fence that's here that's got lots of holes in it in the hopes that we can keep them all in place. After you're finished with the fence, you get to play ultimate frisbee with the kids. Oh, I missed it. That was your big shot My to show how moment. cool you are at frisbee. This week has been such a whirlwind between packing up and leaving where we've been for the last month and a half, getting to a new place, getting settled, learning the new routine. So this week's vlog is a little bit shorter than usual, but I promise we've got so much amazing stuff happening here at the farm. Tomorrow we are getting the bees ready, which I'm so excited about. So be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Be ready.